anesthetic treatments. The patented technology uses a controlled heating of the tissue through uniform molecule excitation. The Exilus gives outstanding results with maximum patient safety and easy user control. The patented dual energy delivery of the Exilus is extremely useful for volume reduction, skin tightening, body contouring, cellulite, as well as for facial rejuvenation and face lifting. With the Exilus body applicator, you can treat the abdomen, love handles, saddlebags, lower back, arms, breasts, thighs, and knees. Typically, the therapy is performed in just four sessions, with a 10 to 14 day interval between each session. To start the therapy, place the electrode on the body. Place the electrode close to the treated area, preferably on the opposite side of the body. For facial and neck applications, place the electrode under the right shoulder blade. For therapy where patient lies on their back, place the electrode under the buttocks. For therapy where patient lies on their abdomen, place the electrode under the front side of the thighs. Position the electrode on a soft tissue area rather than bony one to ensure the best contact. Always avoid spinal column contact. Connect the electrode cable to the device. Check the contact quality on the applicator screen. Poor contact is also indicated by an audio signal. The therapy will not start if sufficient contact is not established. Mark off a zone to be treated. A minimum of a one centimeter fat layer is required in the whole zone. The size of each zone should not exceed the size of the reference electrode. Do not treat more than six zones in a single session. Apply mineral oil. Start the therapy. Keep the applicator in motion across the selected zone. Use a circular motion. Never stop the motion during therapy. The motion should not be too slow or too fast. Make multiple circular motions within the treated zone. Make sure the pressure of the applicator on the skin is sufficient. Maintain good skin contact throughout the session. The following are some common mistakes that may have impact on therapy efficiency. Poor applicator contact. Poor skin contact will be indicated by the applicator screen getting gray. Too much pressure. The motions are too fast. Never stop movement of the applicator during therapy. Do not make only one circular motion. Never lift the applicator while therapy is in process to avoid mild yet uncomfortable electrostatic discharges. Do not move the applicator over bones. For safety reasons, the Exilus will pause every 30 seconds. Restart the therapy by pressing the applicator button. Continue the restarts until the session is finished. The initial level of energy should be around 40 to 70 watts. If required, increase the power in increments of 10 to 20 watts. A maximum tolerable temperature, usually at or above 40 degrees Celsius, should be reached within one or two minutes. Maintain the maximum tolerable temperature for about three minutes. Use the built-in thermometer to check the temperature. Do not exceed 42.5 degrees Celsius. Typical time per zone is four to five minutes. The following graph illustrates the correlation between power and temperature. Try to reach therapy temperature as quickly as possible using high power. Then gradually decrease the power if the patient feels a too hot or burning sensation. If possible, do not stop treatment for more than 15 seconds in order to maintain the required temperature. Remember, your patient should feel very intense heat throughout the therapy, but they should never feel any pain or a burning sensation. The following body zones can be treated. 
abdomen. Inner thighs. Knees. Arms. Breasts. For therapy where a patient lies on their abdomen, place the electrode under the front side of the thighs. Lower back. Saddlebags. Love handles or flanks. Also, remember that patients should drink plenty of still water the day before treatment and in the first few days after treatment. With the Exilus facial applicator, you can perform wrinkle reduction, facial rejuvenation, and face lifting. Four to six sessions are recommended for optimal results with a seven to ten day interval between each session. Divide the facial area into the zones as in the picture. The facial zones are forehead, upper cheeks, lower cheeks, paraoral area, under the chin neck and décolleté. Remove any metal objects, including jewelry and piercing, from the face and neck. Wipe or wash away any makeup. Place the electrode under the right shoulder blade. Avoid spinal column contact. Apply the conductive contact gel. Do not use mineral oil. Start the therapy. The recommended initial level of energy is preset for each zone. Increase the power according to the patient's tolerance. Carefully monitor feedback from the patient and increase the power gradually. The maximum tolerable heat, or erythema, should be reached within one or two minutes. Skin erythema indicates that the proper therapeutic heat has been reached. Maintain the therapeutic heat for two to three minutes. Keep the applicator in motion over the treated zone. Use a circular motion. Maintain good skin contact. Decrease the power if the patient feels a too hot or burning sensation. If possible, do not stop treatment for more than 15 seconds in order to maintain the required temperature. Remember, your patient should feel very intense heat throughout the therapy, but they should never feel any pain or a burning sensation. Do not use body applicator or mineral oil for facial treatments. Remember, patients should drink plenty of still water the day before treatment and in the first few days after treatment. The following facial zones can be treated. Forehead, upper cheeks and paraorbital area, lower cheeks, paraoral area, under the chin, neck, and décolleté. Do not forget, place the electrode in the proper area and verify good contact. Make sure that the size of the treated zone does not exceed the size of the patch electrode used. Use the conductive gel for the face and mineral oil for the body. Never use the body applicator on the face or the facial applicator on the body. Start therapy after full contact between the applicator and the skin has been established. Make continuous circular motions during therapy. Make sure the pressure used on the applicator is sufficient but not excessive. Reach the maximum tolerable temperature as quickly as possible. Use a higher energy level at the beginning of therapy. Maintain the temperature at the maximum tolerable level throughout the therapy. In case of therapy interruption, first switch off the power and then stop the applicator motion. Take patient's measurements and photos prior to therapy. Find out your patient's expectations 
and set up realistic goals. Always check on patients' possible contraindications. For a complete list of contraindications, check the operator's manual. This video does not replace the operator's manual. You must read the operator's manual prior.